So following along this outer fence line here, I want to continue on and clear this whole area of brush and trees for a potato patch. So the other week I started clearing this area and um, I, I ended up with all of this uh, kind of moss and soil and stuff and I was thinking that you know, I was kind of looking at uh, Monty of My Family Garden, and he was saying, you know, he plants his stuff like with a little bit of compost, puts his potatoes in it, and then he just fills up with these old rotted kind of wood chips. And so I was wondering, like, if I couldn't just plant, the, you know, put down a little bit of seaweed, composted seaweed, plant the potatoes in and cover them up with this stuff. And I wonder if that wouldn't work. So I'm thinking about that. Um, this is actually kind of a little bit of a big project getting all this out of here because I'm not just going to go clip 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 and you know knock these down because actually the the brush the base of the branches or the roots or whatever you want to call it are actually way down here in this moss so I want to cut them at the very base and so I have to kind of go through this whole thing. Hey but. folks! I got a couple piles of fluff buddies going. Let me show you what I got done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. So I cleared out that whole area. Oh, that's the berry patch over there. And. So then those two trees are coming down and I've got this whole area out here to clear. So I don't know what I got, a third or a half done, just my branches. <laughs> and yeah, call that, call that a day. So it looks like we're in for a rainy week. Today is potentially going to rain. It looks like it's going to rain. but. Uh, I'm gonna be out here clipping it brush while it's still dry and I think this section over here is a little bit less clumpy stuff that I have to deal with so maybe it'll go a little bit faster. First of all what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. So this is the little chute that I showed you I was clearing out and then I managed to keep going and clear out the rest there. There is my pile of brush. So I need to figure out like there's a rotten log right there whether I want to try and get it out and some other stumps or if I want to just try and work around them. So, Take a look at this fence, line myself up kind of, come straight around. So, okay, here's a view from this direction. There's my berry patch, potential berry patch. And you can see the fences lined up right there. That's the potato patch and next year's rotation. It'll be my next big plot there. That's kind of the plan. Hey, sillies. Oh, look who got all cozy over there. <laughs> okay, so I've got an emergency here. So, plan Z. 
my potatoes are sprouting. I had gotten these German butter balls and didn't really have room for them in the fridge. So I just put them in a cool place in the house and figured that I'd be able to get the potato patch done, hopefully before they got too sprouty. But they got too sprouty. And I should have just pulled them out, you know, and chitted them properly in the light so that they didn't have these big old long sprouts. But dealing with what I'm dealing with and just realizing I'm just not going to be able to get that area cleared and ready for potatoes. So plan Z is to use the berry patch where I don't know that I'm going to be able to get berries in this year, or at least not until later, and I'm going to go ahead and put the potatoes in there. That's what I found. Slug. Last year, I cleared this whole area out for a hugo culture to put in berries eventually. I just threw down some logs, some brush, soil on top, some old compost from the pallet composting bins by the house, and figured I'd wait till later. So now this is gonna become a couple of trenches on either side for potatoes. I went to the far end of the main composting bins to the bin that has the composting seaweed from last year. And I just had to kind of chunk it up with the shovel to make it a little bit more fine. I put a little bit of compost in the bottom of each of the trenches. And I went to the greenhouse to grab the potatoes, which I had put in trays and set upright to try and make matters at least not worse. Okay, row is 30 inches apart. I've got 10 per row. And there are a total of one, two, three, four, five sections. So then I took the moss and dirt mixture and tore it up by hand so they'd be kind of loose and hopefully not break off my little wimpy sprouts and then threw it on top of each of the trenches and the plan is maybe to go ahead and pull down some of that dirt onto the potatoes once they kind of break through. <laughs> okay so I jammed a bunch of, I clipped off some branches and jammed them in there just hoping that the deer will decide they prefer to lay somewhere else because they like to lay on those beds there. So anyway I don't know if I'm gonna try and do another bed today, maybe tomorrow. But the next day it rained and the forecast was for rain for the whole week. So I instead started trying to take care of disasters inside the house, but that's a story for next week. Hi guys, don't eat my potatoes, okay?